Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Fat Man, uh, the fifth film directed by the Nelms Brothers, uh, which will be released courtesy of Sabin Films, November 13th, 2020. Um, so Fat Man is a rated R film that stars Mel Gibson as Santa Claus uh, and an angry young child who hires an assassin to kill him. And that's the nitty-gritty of the plot, uh, and also kind of the least interesting elements. It, it, there's a lot lying in the uh, periphery and the subplot that kind of is a lot more interesting uh, in a film that promises to uh, give you a, a Coen Brothers type flair but really doesn't uh, drop the ball on all of that. Uh, however, Mel Gibson is quite... Uh, he's well cast, well chosen as this uh, Santa Claus who uh, has a contract with the US government that dictates he gets paid based on the amount of gifts he gives, but however, the state of the world being as it is, children aren't um, necessarily good anymore, so an awful lot of them uh, get coal, which he doesn't get paid for. And so now he's not able to pay his uh, factory of elves, and he's, he's uh, basically outside of what looks to be a, a small town called North Peak in Alaska, uh, based on how the assassin has to try to get to him. Um, so the government offers him a chance to subsidize by uh, using his elves to manufacture weapons, which uh, has a lot of uh, dark humor that really isn't mined all that well, which I thought could have been a little bit like um, what uh, Jean-Pierre Junot was trying for with Micmacs. Um, it, Gibson looks a bit like Baudou Save from Drowning, the Renoir film. Uh, maybe even a little bit of uh, Sid Haig in there as Santa Claus. Uh, the best scenes are usually uh, with him and Marianne Jean-Baptiste, who plays, uh, in essence, Mrs. Claus, here named Ruth Kringle. Uh, and they have a very uh, interesting chemistry together that I thought worked quite well, and I wanted to see more of that. But we have to spend a lot of time with uh, Chance Hurstfield, who plays this little rich kid in Minneapolis named Billy Weenan, uh, who first hires uh, an assassin played by Walton Goggins to kidnap uh, a young girl, a peer that has won a science project that he wants the ribbon for, uh, and he threatens her uh, with disqualifying, to disqualify herself so he can get that distinction. And then when he gets coal on Christmas, hires Walton to go kill Santa Claus. And it turns out this assassin also has significant Santa-related trauma from his youth. Um, it, it almost feels like that is existing in the Tim Allen uh, Santa Claus realm uh, when the rest of it feels a lot more inspired. Um, yeah, it, compared to something like Rare Imports or even uh, Mel Gibson's turn in uh, Bloodfather, which is, I kind of was hoping this would be more along those lines, uh, you might be disappointed, especially considering names like David Gordon Green and Danny McBride uh, are in the cast. Uh, overall, I would give the film two and a half out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.